Hey, Mike Callahan here. I want to make a quick video. It was on the uh, SA uh, user group page and a lot of questions coming around uh, how to use forms. What's the purpose of forms, how to set them up, how to get them to auto populate. And uh, another big uh, source of confusion is actually getting those forms to um, be embedded into your website and take the contents or the contacts and actually enter them automatically in SA without uh, manual or double entry. So uh, hopefully this is going to help solve a couple of questions that uh, people are using, or if you're looking at service autopilot, what the benefits of forms are and actually what they are. So uh, I'm going to hop over and share my screen here and uh, hop into it. So as we're in here and we're looking at uh, service autopilot, uh, we're going to go under the, the marketing and go to forms and open that up. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go in and hit add a form in the upper right hand corner. And it's going to pop this up here. So there's some key functionalities that we're going to need to do this in here. We're going to have to name the title. Uh, so let's just call this website request. And where it says description feeds fill out the required fields that we can customize that in there as well. Um, next thing we're going to do is the foundational part of the, the forms itself. Um, and if you're watching this live and you have any questions, type it in the comments field. I'm only on my laptop here, so I can't see them live, but before I go off, I will answer them. Uh, we're going to go into add a field. We're going to go into name and that's going to click on the name and you're going to want to map that back to client first name, last name. That's going to associate it. So when they come off the website or they're filling out a form, it automatically associates with first name, last name. Next thing we're going to do is add another field, and this is going to be address field. Uh, so this address field here is going to be mapped to the service address. Now, that will automatically link those in, but the one thing that most people miss is under form setting, we need to scroll to the bottom here and hit auto approve, create on submit. In create on submit, we want to update a client or update a lead. I would say create and update a lead. Now this form will automatically enter that back into service autopilot. Uh, you may want to put it, send an internal email. So this email um, is going to notify somebody based on who they are, the role or the actual resource. So in this case, myself, we could put some messaging in here, but when we hit save now, um, we're going to get a email notification when somebody fills out that form. So those are the key elements there. Um, that we're doing in here. We can send a confirmation email to the client as well under email options to let them know we receive their, their, their estimate request or whatever else we're doing. Uh, if we want this form to show in the mobiles, we need to click show on mobile. And this is going to allow us to uh, associate it to a client job um, or some clock in and clock outs or job completed to be a requirement. Uh, those are some options right there for you. Um, so I'm going to deselect that, but on a basic minimal, this is, is what we're doing here. Um, so we're going to go in and add a couple different fields here. So uh, a text message, a number, drop down, these are all different things we can go in. So if we add in uh, text, this is where we can go in and have somebody physically type in and map that back. So if we have a text field, we can map that there. So we can literally put test text and map it back to a custom field here. Or if it's something um, that you already have a field for, we can go in and um, have them type that in. So maybe comments. And now when they fill that out, we can put comments and it maps back to the comments area. Uh, next thing we're looking at here is a number. So this is uh, particularly interesting, whether you're using it internally or externally, it could be maybe per square footage. So maybe this is an on-site estimate form. We're going to go in and collect the turf square footage, number of small, medium, large shrubs, turf, uh, bed square footage, or maybe in our home cleaning industry. We want to walk through the house and take inventory of certain things we're cleaning. We want to track it back to a custom field, which links onto the particular client itself. Uh, we're going to go in and put that in. We're going to go in and map it back to a custom field. And in the custom fields, I can go in and pull up my turf square footage. And now that's automatically mapped back to that person on that client level. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, next thing we're going to go into is 
uh, multiple choices or checkboxes. So I'm going to go into checkboxes. It's going to be the same process as a multiple choice. Um, but we're going to click in here and select all that apply. And what we're doing here is we can go in now and map this back to a specific custom field here. Or as we add different items, it could be um, a net promoter score. So maybe a one rating or a two rating. And you can bump this all the way out to maybe five or six uh, different ratings or on a scale one to five or one to 10. Uh, if you're looking for employee ratings and surveys, I really recommend just going to Martha Woodward's QDS software. That's the best way of doing it. Um, but I want to give this as an example of just how to apply some tags and conditions no matter what behind the checkbox. Um, so the question kind of that was submitted was around this. So add conditions and we're going to be able to add a condition. If it's equal to a rating of one, we can go in and select a tag. If you don't have the tag, you can go in and add it by hitting the plus sign. And we could say a one rating and then we can select a category. And we built some different ones out. So the one I would use in my, my instance is profile because it's on the, the actual customer profile. And you want to click automation tag here as well. So if you're building an automation around that, they can trigger some additional functionality. Um, so we've got that one tag right there equals that rating. And then let's just say we want to add another condition equals two, two rating. We can add a tag in for a two rating. So based on that, we can have some functionality and automation to segment where people are at in that sales pipeline or review pipeline. But like I said, Martha Woodward's QDS is the way to go for something like that, for sure. Um, so that's going to tackle that. There's a couple other fields in here we may want to look at. Um, multiple choice is going to be the same thing as checkbox. We have drop down, yes or no, and a rating. Uh, help section is a great area here where we can go in and uh, add some help text. Or if you want to embed a video into a form and let it play live inside the form, this is where we would text or copy and paste the HTML code from YouTube or Wistia here. So hopefully that answers some of the questions there. Uh, as we're going into form settings, um, a, a long form submission, basically what this would be, requires first name and last name mapped back to first and last name down here. And address needs to be mapped back to service address. So let's just say uh, we didn't need to get all this information, but we wanted to get them into service autopilot. You can enter and update a lead so your form settings would be the same here, but what we need for a lead is the bare minimum of first name, last name, and not the address, but actually the email address. So we would go in to add a field, we would go into email, and this email needs to be linked back to the actual email um, on the map to field. So this is a way to add a lead in. So if you don't want to answer too many questions, at a minimum, we need first name and last name map back and email map back. So this is the foundational parts of an actual form. And then for some styling under form layout, we can go in and show our logo. And client portal logo is one of the ones we've got there, or we've got our estimate logo. And we can select the different logos. Some of these logos, we have um, a little bit different setups here because we use them differently in Simple Growth. But that's the main logo that I would put on there. And if you wanted to style it, uh, we can go in and select a template of, let's just say, blue. So now it's blue. And uh, if you get in here in the Submit button on the bottom, uh, you can actually customize that. So where it says Submit here, we can say um, Request an Estimate. And we can style that. So once we save that, that's the foundational part of setting up a form. Uh, we go into the actual uh, area here where forms are at, and then across the right-hand side in Publish, this is where we have a linkable, this is the actual URL hosted link. And then with the new CAPTCHA, uh, the embed code is right here, and that would probably be the one you want for your webmaster or the full form. Um, but these are, when you click on them, they actually give you the HTML code or the iframe to do those embedding. So if you have any comments or questions, let me know. I'm going to hop back to the other screen just to see uh, what we're looking at, if anybody has any comments or questions. So uh, no comments or questions right now. Hopefully, if you have any questions, I'll watch the recorded version of this um, and answer them. But hopefully, this gives you a working um, template 
how to actually do this in-service autopilot and create success for going into this upcoming season. So hope all is well and uh, keep an eye out. We just did a, uh, a Facebook Live for the SA Weekly Talk Show about recruiting in the labor crisis. Um, and we're going to be coming live again next week with the SA Weekly Talk Show. So if you have any uh, suggested guests or topics you want us to hit in that uh, SA Weekly Talk Show or uh, live here in our Facebook stream, uh, let us know. I want to say what up, what's up to Josh and uh, Tim as well. And I uh, hope all is well. Well, guys, talk to you soon.